guys, welcome to Kara Jo Plans, where I am planning and budgeting my way as a single mom through life with my boys and as an entrepreneur and a full-time employee. So, got a lot going on. I'm glad you're here. Um, today we're going to be talking about my paycheck budget for the week of June 7th or the pay period of June 7th um, in my Live Mitch Planner here. And what I do... So I start at the top and it's all laid out. If you are new to budgeting, this is a fantastic tool if you don't know where to start. You start with your income, what is coming in, and then you go to your bills because those are pretty darn important. You want to make sure your bills are paid. Then you want to go to your variable expenses, which are things like food and gas. Those are also very important. Then saving extra debt payoff, and then extra saving. And it's laid out very nice um, as a guide if you're beginning on spending. Um, I do modify mine a little bit because I've been budgeting for so many years and I know what works for me. So in this video, I'll kind of show you what I've done differently in this paycheck and what how I use mine throughout the month. So for my income, I always put my starting balance. So what is in my bank account? the night before my first pay drops in. So I had $356.94 in my bank account. My incomes were $693 and $1546.50 for a total income of $2,596.44. Then I list my bills out, and you'll see I crossed this one off because it actually went like on the 6th. So it was actually counted in last pay period before this amount. So I crossed that one out, so we didn't count that. And my Chase card, Xfinity, Apple, Kids Taekwondo, Electric, Peloton, Verizon is cell phones. We made some changes with our cell phone. I was paying my mom before. Now I'm going to take over the auto pay and she's going to pay me her portion. So I will get some of that back from her. We haven't really discussed how we're doing that yet. I got to look at the bill breakdown. Um, and then Spotify. Discover card I'm paying on and my State Farm card I am paying on. So my bill total for this pay period is $1,868.74. And then I take that from my income total and I'm left with $727.70. So then I take that down to my next block of different kinds of expenses. And I actually didn't write it on here. So let me do that for you just as a good example. So 72770 is what I'm starting with in this block. That's what I have to work with. So I'm planning on 300 for giving, 125 for food, 150 for a car, 20 for allowance, 60 for beauty, and 25 for house, and nothing for fun this pay period. So my envelope total, so the total for all of these um, variable expenses is $680. And if I take that from the $727.70, I'm left with $47.70 by the end of this pay period. So that is where my budget ends this paycheck. I will not be doing any sinking funds. Extra debt, I kind of already count in over here, and extra savings. Um, my sinking funds, I try to fund once a month, and it's usually on, depending how my pays fall, this beginning of the month is very heavy on bills for me. So start in June, it's probably going to be closer to the end of the month on my second pay, where I put some into my sinking funds. So this whole side, I'm not using at all. So then the only other thing that you have to do is what I would do at the bottom here is I would just write carry over and that's what I'm anticipating my next pay period will start with is the 4770. So then if you take your total income, oops, slide back down. If you take your total income and you subtract the total from every one of these boxes, you should have the zero. And that's something called a zero-based budget and it makes sure that you are giving every dollar a job or a name or designating it towards something and that way you know where every one of your dollars is going instead of you wondering where it went, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, it's just kind of a little mindset, mindset shift to take control of your finances. You're telling your dollars, hey, I'm spending $60 on beauty this pay period. 
And by putting cash in a cash envelope, that's a real easy way to control yourself because when that cash envelope is empty, you're done. You're done. So that is the thinking behind this worksheet and this method. And it did help me pay off over $80,000 in debt in 21 months. So if you like that and find this tool helpful, be sure to subscribe and follow along and check out my Instagram channel where I do give budgeting tips and advice as well and some fun reels. So thank you guys for being a part of my channel here today. Hit that subscribe, comment below what you like, what you don't like, what works for you. I love to hear that stuff. And I also want to know where my viewers are from. So let me know where you're from and I will catch you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.